I understand that this video could very easily come off as me defending Disney. I understand that this could easily come off as me being like, oh, you know what, guys, I, I changed my mind. The live-action Disney remakes are actually good. You know, post-Endgame MCU and Disney-era Star Wars, they're actually great. Wish is actually an amazing movie. Y'all are just haters, for real. I understand that this video could easily come off as that. This could be me changing my views and defending Disney now all of a sudden, becoming a shill for Disney, anything of that sort. And I can assure you, that is not what this video is going to be about. I still don't like Disney. Disney has done a lot of awful things. I still don't like the live-action remakes. They are boring, soulless movies that disrespect the art of animation. I think post-Endgame MCU is really bad, with a few exceptions. I don't care about Star Wars at all, so it's like I have no opinion on Disney's version of the franchise, but pretend that I don't like it either, okay? Just pretend that I hate Disney-era Star Wars. I still think Wish is a bland, generic movie. That's especially disappointing when you remember it was supposed to culminate Disney's 100 year anniversary. I still believe all of those things. And yet, despite that, I have grown bored of talking about these same few topics. Throughout 2023, I would make videos criticizing Disney, acknowledging every bad thing they did, just constantly make videos talking trash about them, comparing them unfavorably to other animation studios like DreamWorks and Sony, talking about how these other animation studios are putting out masterpieces while Disney's just putting out safe, generic garbage, that sort of thing. And now it's just like, like I'm bored of talking about this same stuff over and over again. That doesn't mean that I changed my mind, I changed my views, and whatever, I like Disney now, Disney's great and amazing, but like, I'm just bored of talking about this stuff. It's boring to hate on this stuff over and over again, it's just I've become bored and burnt out, and I realize now that like, some of this stuff doesn't even f matter when you think about it like some of this stuff is just really insignificant there are valid reasons to hate disney disney has done a lot of terrible scummy things there are a lot of valid justified reasons to hate disney walt disney's alleged anti-semitism disney's support of israel you know the the disney's support of the don't say gay bill in early 2022 you know there are valid justified reasons to hate Disney. But then, in contrast, people hate on Disney because some girl said she doesn't like an old movie, which is f***ing stupid and trivial in comparison. I'm, I'm sure there's people that ask me, like, oh, why haven't I made a video on the Snow White remake? Why haven't I talked about Rachel Zegler criticizing the, the original Snow White? And you know why? It's because I don't care. I genuinely could not care less about this whole thing. This this is the most stupid f***ing nothing burger controversy I've ever seen. I, I don't even feel like it deserves to be called a controversy because it's that stupid and insignificant. I've never even seen the original Snow White, so it's like I care even less about this whole ordeal than I already do. Disney has done so many awful, atrocious things in the past, and yet people hate on them because they made my precious outer space kids movies woke. Like, it's, it's so stupid. I'm sorry. So in today's video, I'm gonna be just going over a lot of different things that people criticize Disney for now. Every aspect of them. Disney era Star Wars, post Endgame MCU, their modern animated movies, the live action remakes, and it's just, I'm sick of talking about these things, and honestly, I'm kind of sick of seeing people talk about these things as well. Like, I'm not forcing anyone to stop talking about this stuff, but like, it has to get boring for y'all, surely, you know? Like, it has to get boring for y'all to talk about how Disney era Star Wars is bad. I'm so sick of constantly getting videos recommended to me, it's like, oh, Disney era Star Wars is bad, I hate Disney era Star Wars, and it's like, then stop f 
fucking watching Disney era Star Wars. Stop acknowledging its existence. It's literally as simple as that. Nobody is forcing you to watch the sequel trilogy. Nobody is forcing you to acknowledge the existence of the sequel trilogy. Nobody is forcing you to consider these movies canon. It's not like Disney's going to barge into your house and hold you at gunpoint and force you to watch The Last Jedi for the rest of your life. If you hate Disney-era Star Wars so much, then just f***ing move on from it. Either move on from Star Wars as a whole, or just ignore everything that came out after Revenge of the Sith, and only watch the stuff from before Disney bought Star Wars. It's as simple as that. Again, I cannot stress this out enough. This is not me defending Disney. This is not me defending Disney-era Star Wars. This is not me defending the sequel trilogy. This is not me defending The Last Jedi. I have never seen The Last Jedi. I have no intentions to ever watch The Last Jedi. I couldn't care less about why The Last Jedi is bad. And you know what? Maybe it actually is a bad movie. I don't doubt that. I don't doubt the possibility that The Last Jedi actually is a f***ing awful movie. I'm sure that's completely possible. But my god, man. This movie came out in 2017. It's 2024, and I still see people talk about this stupid movie. It's like, doesn't it get boring talking about the same movie over and over and over again? Like, surely, there has to come a point in time where just, you move on from it. You acknowledge The Last Jedi is bad, and then you just move on with your life. I'm just so sick of, like, people just devoting their entire life to hating this one stupid movie that they could easily ignore and not watch. Let me give you a scenario. I sit down, and I watch The Last Jedi. And I end up thinking it's bad. I end up hating it. I don't know if I'll end up hating it for the same reasons everyone else hates it, or if I have my own unique reason to hate The Last Jedi. It doesn't matter. The main thing is, I sit down, I watch The Last Jedi, and I end up hating it. I end up thinking it's a bad movie. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move on with my life after watching The Last Jedi. I'm going to acknowledge that The Last Jedi is bad, and then I'll move on with my life. Maybe I'll make one video talking about why I think it's a bad movie, but that's it. Just one video, not 40 million f***ing videos talking about why it's a bad movie. I watch The Last Jedi, I acknowledge it as a bad movie, and then I carry on with my life, and I never acknowledge its existence again. It's the same thing with, like, post-Endgame MCU. It, you know, it's so funny to me when people say, like, you know, they hate Disney-era Star Wars and post-Endgame MCU, and yet as soon as, like, a new thing from either of these franchises come out, they immediately watch it. These people will be like, oh, I hate the MCU post-Endgame. It should have ended after Endgame. And then the moment Disney Plus drops a new MCU show, they're, like, immediately watching it. Like, it's just, it's crazy. If you truly believe that the MCU should have ended after Endgame, then don't watch or acknowledge the existence of anything that came out after Endgame. It's as simple as that. To be honest, you know, I, I gotta say this right now, the MCU becoming bad now is not surprising at all when you actually think about it. Oh my god, I can't believe this movie franchise that's been going on for over 15 years and has over 30 movies in it is bad now all of a sudden. Who'd have thunk it? It's almost like when something goes on for an extremely long period of time, it eventually wears out its welcome and becomes nowhere near as good as it once was. What a shocker. Oh yeah, don't even get me started on Star Wars either. No way, you mean to be telling me that this movie franchise that's over 40 f***ing years old isn't as good now as it was before? Who'd have thunk it? Listen. I agree that post-Endgame MCU is bad. I don't like post-Endgame MCU either. So you know what I do? I move on with my life. I move on from the MCU. I don't watch anything that comes out of the MCU now. I don't watch any of the Disney Plus shows. I don't watch any of the movies. I don't watch anything like that. I knew very early on from the start that Guardians of the Galaxy 3, that would be my last movie. And that's it. I ain't watching another movie after. And I have still held on to that promise. 
I have not watched the Marvels. I have no intentions to ever watch the Marvels. As far as I'm concerned, the Marvels doesn't exist. This is not a real movie that exists. The last Disney Plus MCU show that I watched was Moon Knight. WandaVision, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Loki Season 1, What If Season 1, Hawkeye, and Moon Knight. And that's it. Those are the only shows that I've watched. I don't ever intend to watch Secret Invasion or She-Hulk or anything like that because I don't care about them. I'm not going to waste my time watching this stuff. I I'm sorry. It's just not worth it. And then you got the live-action remakes, which, again... I don't think they're good movies now. This isn't me changing my mind and being like, oh, you know what, I actually like these movies now. No, I still think these are bad, soulless movies. But I'm sick of talking about them. I just get exhausted now thinking about these movies, thinking about hating these movies. Because there's nothing new to say. Everything that I've ever wanted to say about these stupid movies, I've already said in tons of past videos. I've just milked this topic to death, and now there is nothing new for me to say about them. These movies are all bad for the same reasons. They're all, like, just generic, soulless movies that disrespect animation or whatever. And that's it, basically. There's no unique reason for why, like, one movie is bad. Like, there's no standout reason for why one particular movie is bad. They all just kind of blend together with their badness. And then you look at, like, Snow White 2025, That's a, it's the same thing. The Snow White remake is gonna be the same thing. Yeah, yeah, girl said she doesn't like old movie, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't mean anything. That's not enough. If you look past that, the Snow White remake is just going to be bad for the same reason all the previous live-action remakes were bad. There's not going to be anything new or unique besides girl doesn't like old movie. I know there's going to be comments saying like, no, you shouldn't underestimate what she said about the original Snow White. You're, you're downplaying it. No, I'm not. That's... That's literally all that this is. Girl doesn't like old movie. The most idiotic nothing burger controversy ever. Like, are people actually mad at this? Seriously, that's f***ing ridiculous, man. Whatever the hell she said about the original Snow White, she could have easily said it about, like, Cinderella or The Little Mermaid or whatever. It wouldn't make a damn difference, honestly. I ain't defending Rachel Zegler, but, like, you know, this is just a stupid thing to get mad about. You know, like, I, I look at the Moana remake, and it's like, if you look past the fact that it's a remake of a still fairly recent Disney movie... The rest of the movie is just going to be the same thing. Just boring, soulless, devoid of life. Nothing new to be said about this movie that couldn't be said for any of the other live-action remakes. Just the same old song and dance as Little Mermaid and Aladdin and whatever. Nothing unique. Nothing new, nothing fresh. The only new reason to hate this remake is because it's a remake of a more recent Disney movie, and that's it. And you know what? You know, I, this is when I'm going to get a little more controversial, so just buckle up, folks. There's going to come a point in time where Disney will make a live-action remake of an animated movie that no one cares about, and then, like, it's gonna get a lot of hate simply because it's a live-action remake. And then the hate that it gets is gonna feel forced and inauthentic. Like, listen, I can understand why people are mad at, like, Beauty and the Beast or The Little Mermaid or whatever getting live-action remakes. I can understand that. Because Beauty and the Beast and The Little Mermaid, they're beloved classics. They're famous, iconic Disney movies that everyone knows and loves. But then, in contrast... Disney announces a live-action remake of The Rescuers, and then it's gonna be like, 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 who gives a shit about The Rescuers, honestly? Like, are people actually gonna be mad that a live-action remake of The Rescuers will be made? No one cares about The Rescuers at all. The only reason anyone cares about either of these movies is because of that one scene in the first movie where it's like, for a few seconds, you could see a picture of a woman in the background. I unfortunately cannot go into any further detail on this because I don't want to risk demonetization, but if you know, you know. Like, that's it. 
that's the only reason anyone cares about the rescuers. If if it weren't for that, no one would give a sh about the rescuers neither of the movies and yet i know for a fact that the moment disney announces a live action remake of the rescuers a million people are gonna all of a sudden start pretending that they care about the rescuers like you're gonna have people from both sides of the coin you have one side talking about like oh they're gonna make the rescuers woke now and then you have the other side where it's like oh they're disrespecting animation don't they know that animation is cinema and not a genre for kids all of these people coming together to defend a movie that they didn't care about until it got a live-action remake announced for it. It's just such an idiotic thing. I can't wait for Disney to announce a live-action remake of Oliver and Company, and then it's like the five people in existence that like Oliver and Company, they're gonna get mad now that Disney's gonna take this beloved classic and they're gonna make it into woke liberal garbage or whatever. It's gonna be the most stupid f***ing thing ever. Just you wait and see. And then you think about it even further. What What's gonna happen when Disney announces a live-action remake of Wish? Like, what are we gonna do then? Are we gonna pull out the woke card? Are we gonna pull out the animation is cinema card? Are we gonna start pretending that the original Wish is a good movie now just because it's getting a live-action remake of it? Like, it makes no sense at all when you actually think about it. If a bad animated Disney movie gets a live-action remake, are we gonna start pretending that the original animated movie is good now? Like, like, it, it's such a stupid thing. It makes no sense at all. We can criticize these live-action remakes all we want. Disney is still going to keep making them. Spamming animation is cinema isn't going to make Disney cancel the Snow White remake or any of the other remakes that they're working on. Just please snap back to reality. You know, speaking of animation is cinema, I just, I've distanced myself from that in recent times. I made a video about it not long ago where I go into more detail of just why I just, I cannot stand the animation is cinema stuff anymore. I'm not against this sentiment of animation being cinema. I'm not against the idea of animation being cinema. I'm not against Guillermo del Toro's original belief of animation being cinema and not a genre for kids. But I am against this bastardized version that y'all came up with. Where it's like, if a movie is animated and it's not made by Disney, then it's automatically cinema. Like, it just doesn't work like that at all. I'ma need y'all to manage your expectations when it comes to the quality of the movies from these other animation studios. Not every Sony movie is going to be like Spider-Verse, and not every DreamWorks movie is going to be like Puss in Boots The Last Wish. And furthermore, not every Sony movie should be like Spider-Verse. Listen, I love Spider-Verse, I really do. I love the art style that it has. I love, like, Puss in Boots and TMNT Mutant Mayhem. Like, the Spider-Verse inspired art style that they have. I love it. But, like, if we keep getting more and more movies that have this art style, that have this, like, Spider-Verse inspired art style, it's gonna get old very quickly. That fresh, unique feel that this art style once had it's not going to be there anymore if we keep using it over and over and over again. And you know what? That's fine. I'm okay with this art style just being used sporadically. That's why now I'm okay with safe corporate slop like trolls or whatever existing. Because if we just kept getting more and more Spider-Verse quality movies, the art style that it has would become boring and stale. What started off as this unique experimental art style would very quickly become bland and corporate and boring just because of its overuse. It honestly just feels refreshing to distance myself from the animation is cinema bullcrap and to now just kind of embrace the bland, generic, safe nature of most Illumination movies. Like now I'm able to just stop being pretentious about this whole thing 
and just acknowledge like yeah illumination makes dumb safe movies for kids and there's nothing wrong with that really illumination and disney don't need spider-verse style animated movies nor should they ever make spider-verse style animated movies i'd rather there be a balance between corporate slop and unique interesting stuff that doesn't mean that some of the safe corporate slop in question should be considered cinema. I don't think that Wish is a good movie. Surprise, surprise. I think it's a generic movie, but like other animation studios, they can put out movies that are honestly no different or better for, than Wish. DreamWorks and Sony can very easily put out movies that are on the same level of quality as Wish. And it's like, they won't get any hate at all, simply because they're not made by Disney. And then some of the movies that people use as examples for how animation is cinema, it's just, it's very questionable to say the least. You know, I've been thinking about this a lot lately, the whole like animation is cinema stuff. It reminds me a lot of this whole thing, you know, video games are art. It reminds me of that whole thing, the whole video games are a legitimate art form stuff. I look at that and I compare it to animation is cinema and it's like the difference between the two is night and day. Obviously, the intentions behind both of these things are extremely similar, but the way that they're handled, the way that, you know, they're turned out, there's a huge difference between the two regarding how they're handled. The people that say video games are art, they use critically acclaimed masterpiece video games as examples to help strengthen their claim. You know, they use stuff like Breath of the Wild, Red Dead Redemption 2, any Hideo Kojima game. They use those as examples. They don't use poppy playtime or whatever friday night funkin as examples of video games being art because if they did that then nobody would take what they're saying seriously nobody would look at video games as art i really feel like the animation is cinema crowd could really learn a thing or two from the video games are art crowd listen i am not saying the mario movie is bad I don't think the Mario movie is bad. I do think it's fairly underwhelming and it could have been a lot better, but I don't think it's a terrible movie or anything like that. But I wouldn't consider it cinema. I especially wouldn't use it as an example of how animation should be seen as a legitimate art form and not just a dumb thing for kids, because as much as I hate to say it, that's kind of what the Mario movie is, a dumb thing for kids. Now, is there anything wrong with that? No, of course not. But you just, you cannot pretend that this movie is cinema. You cannot use it as an example of how animation should be seen as a legitimate art form. It doesn't matter how much you like this movie. It, it, if it's your favorite movie, whatever, it doesn't matter. This movie, you cannot use it as an example for animation being cinema. Trolls is not some life-changing cinematic masterpiece that anyone of any age can enjoy. They're dumb movies intended for six-year-olds. They should not be used as examples of how like animation is cinema, animation is not a genre for kids and whatever. You can't use movies that are made for six-year-olds as an example for how like animation is not a genre for kids. Because because it comes off as ironic, it comes off as hypocritical. Please, for the love of God, watch a Ralph Bakshi movie. I am begging y'all. You want animated movies to help prove that animation isn't a genre for kids? He's your guy. You're welcome. The main takeaway from the animation is cinema stuff is there's a lot of things that I regret about it. Uh, obviously, again, I have to stress this out again, but I'm not against the idea of animation being cinema. I'm just against what it eventually spiraled down into and how I would just con contribute to it. The thing that I just regret most is just how pretentious I was with the whole like anti-Disney bias. Like I, I feel like I would just take it too far. I just hate how obnoxious I come off in those videos and I just, I, I'm just tired of talking about this stuff really. I don't care what Disney does next. I don't care what they do next with their animated movies. I don't care what they do next with their live action remakes. I don't care what they do next with the MCU. I especially don't care what they do next with Star Wars. 
I just don't care at all. That that doesn't mean that I like the bad stuff that they're putting out now. I'm just simply saying, like, I just don't care anymore. Like, I don't have it in me to still get mad at, like, whatever the f*** they do now with their movies. This is not me defending Disney. This is not me defending all of the stuff that I just said, all the live-action remakes and whatnot. This is not me defending the many awful things that they have done as a company. I, I, I don't know how anyone could interpret that as being the case. More than anything else, I'm just burnt out from talking about how Disney is bad. And that's normal. If you keep making videos on one topic over and over and over again, eventually you're gonna get bored of talking about it. You're just gonna get burnt out. You're just not gonna have it in you anymore to talk about this crap over and over again. I went from hating the live-action Disney remakes with all of my heart to just not giving a shit about them anymore. Like, I've just accepted that, like, it doesn't matter how many videos I make, it doesn't matter how many videos we make, they're still gonna make these movies. And people are still gonna watch them. It's sad, but it's true. I really don't care about, like, Moana 2, I don't care about. I don't care about Rachel Zegler and whatever the f*** she said about Snow White. I don't care at all. I, I just do not care about any of that stuff anymore. I'm not interested in it. So, yeah, and that's about it, basically. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to like, and if you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing as it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you everyone for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time. Adios.